Good morning everybody, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it is Sunday morning. Um, we have a little bit of a challenge this week because on a Friday, I go and do a bit of a top up shop, normally for food for the weekend, um, extra fruit, anything that, anything that we need just to get us through till the next week when I do the shopping, which is normally on a Monday. So normally we have kind of mash or something on a Sunday. So I thought I'd pick up some potatoes for some mash, but I had to go to Asda and they didn't have any normal bags, size bags, potatoes. The only ones they had were like their, I don't know what their finest kind of ones are, because obviously Tesco's is finest, but their finest bags, which were quite small for two pound, or they had this bag. They had a 7.5 kilo bag for three pounds. So I thought, I don't want to pay two pounds for a small bag, so I'll buy the big bag. Now, everybody thinks I've gone mental because I've bought a massive bag of potatoes. Now, we'll probably get through it quite quickly, to be fair. But what we're going to do this week is see how many meals we can make using the potatoes or how many extras or sides that we can make using the potatoes. So obviously, they're going to have mashed for tea tonight. Um, we're going to be cooking something in the air fryer potato tots kind of things in the air fryer in a minute we're going to try um i'll probably do roast potatoes once we're going to look oh there was some spicy potatoes we were going to do them has. that's the ones so the challenge is to see how many meals we can cook this week using the air fryer and in the oven if we need to use to use up all of these potatoes see i don't think it will take that long because there's a lot of us and um it's only 7.5 kilos, but they were only three pounds, so I couldn't not buy them. So this week, this week's meals are mainly going to be involving potato. So yeah, Isabel's going to make some potato tots in a minute and do them in the air fryer. Ben's going to make mash for later tonight, and then then we'll tackle what we're going to do tomorrow. So yeah, there we go. Right then guys, so I'm going to give um, Isabella a hand to do these, what are they called? Ta tater, tater tots. Tater, tater tots. tots. I'm going to give Isabella a hand to do these tater tots. We're just going to, um, we're just peeling some potatoes at the moment. How many potatoes are we doing, Isabel? Eight, because they're only small. Isabel's in charge of the, uh, in charge of making them. I'm just helping. We're meant to do big ones, but these ones are tiny. So I'm your beautiful assistant for the day. Yeah. They are a bit small. These potatoes. So Zoe managed to get this massive bag of potatoes, but and she said, "And she said, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use up the whole bag this week, and we're going to vlog it." I was like, "Yeah, crack on. Let's go for it." So we're just peeling some potatoes now. Um, I would estimate. Well, how many have you got here now? So you've done one, two, two. So well, I've got three now. You've got eight potatoes. You got, how many? Are you going to, what we'll do is. That's the pan we're using. So we're gonna kind of half fill the pan with potato. Potato, potato, yeah? I use a big chop in there. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. And how are you gonna chop them up? Into, into what? cubes. Into cubes, just show, yeah. show people what you're gonna cut, cut them up into. One second. Well, you just need them small enough for boiling. These sizes. Tiny. Yeah. Like a quarter. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine. So I'd normally be doing loads for mash, but um, instead we're going to be doing... We're going to um, do mash today. Well, I don't know. We're doing mashed potato. Just mm -hmm. for tea, are we? Oh, right. I guess it. we're doing mashed potato as well. <clears throat> So that'll be a bit more of the potatoes used up. Right, so you reckon about that sort of size, do you? Yeah. About that sort of size. It's just for boiling. Okay. So normally I'd boil them a bit bigger, but that's for mash, and I normally do a massive pan. So well, that's fine. Right, we're going to speed this bit up. We're going to speed this bit up.
Right, we're just mashing. So we'll get these mashed. And then what did you say we've got to add to them, Isabel? Salt, pepper and flour. All right, so mash them first. With my antique masher. Because we can't throw it away because this, this was Zoe's granny's masher. So we can't throw it away. So we just um, just keep repairing it. Right. Oops. Right, that's good. It's all mashed. Right, Isabel's taking over. And salt. So what are you doing now? You're just putting a little bit of salt in. A little bit of salt. Awesome. Oh, and then and then a bit of pepper is that right this isn't a salt shaker is it a salt shaker have we got them the wrong way around yeah. so that's just a little bit of black pepper yeah yep okay cool right what's next then flour flour's going in i've already added some just need a little bit more okay so some look at that so i think that's enough it doesn't actually say what's how much that, like do. two tablespoons of flour or something like that that's it yeah, let's do a extra okay Right, you're giving it a mix now, are you? Yep. So that's salt, pepper and flour. Yeah? You meant to use corn flour, but we don't have any. So we're going to try it with a bit of normal plain flour, yeah? Yeah. Now I'm just going to pour it upside down. What are you doing now then? You're just going to get the potatoes out, are you? Yeah. Put them on the um, chopping board. Oh, you've done quite a lot. Yeah, that's okay. There's quite a lot of us in there. It wasn't, it's only about like 10 potatoes in the end. Nine. So we've got the air fryer on, haven't we? Warming up now. Yeah. At what, what temperature? 200. Okay, so at 200. Well, um, right, so that's half of the potato, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a lot. Okay, so maybe we didn't need to do as much then. That's what I thought. One of my potatoes splitting. Yeah. I'm just cutting them evenly. I think that's what it says. Yeah. Right. Well, they're quite big. Yeah, that'll be alright. It's one. Oh, you can't see it. There. Cool. Right, Zoe, you've taken over. So what are we doing now? I'm spraying with olive oil. Right. Right, are these are these going in the air fryer next today? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know this is like this is like that you know that foo foo stuff, that stuff after foo stuff. Mm -hmm. I like it all like. Okay, so um, they're in. That's the first batch in at 200 degrees and they're going in, they've gone in for 15 minutes. So we're now waiting, aren't we? We'll wait and see what they turn out like. Okay, is that time up? Yep. Time up, let's have a look at these, um, what are they called? Ooh. The potato. Oh, they look all right, don't they? Let's we'll take them out. The middles are meant to be soft. Switch them after five minutes. So turn them over after five minutes. The middles meant so to be soft. Switched, so they, they were in for 15, but you switched them twice. So yeah. yeah. 
They look nice. They look all right, don't they? And yeah. do you want to get a bowl and I'll put them in? Yeah, the get a bowl. Let's get one open. Right, have you just put some more on, Zoe? Have you? Put another batch on, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's have a look then. Open one up. Oh, they look so good, don't they? Taste. Oh, yeah, they're really good. That's quite a lot. Nice for ketchup. They're yeah. really good. Agnes, you don't want to try Agnes. one? Say hello. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they were a success, weren't they? So that's meal one, meal one. So that's for us to have with lunch today. Uh, and then later on, we're doing mash with the kids. Yeah? Yeah, separately. Mash with the kids. Uh, and that'll be meal two. Yep. And then we'll go on to meal three after that. So what's meal three going to be? Do you know yet? I don't know yet. Oh, apparently spicy potatoes. Well, there you go. Spicy potatoes. So... That they what what are they called? The tater tots. Oh my god, I can't get that on my head. Like the tater American tots. tater tots. Tater tots. So we've done tater tots, mash later, so we'll see you later on. Right guys, the second thing I'm gonna cook with these potatoes is mash. I'm gonna get right on with it now. Okay guys, that's our potatoes cooked. So we've got, I always like to put a nice bit of butter in it. Uh, some, a little bit of milk. Kids love it. Absolutely love it. I've got some gravy on the go in a minute. So I've just got to add, add my hot water to the gravy. Um, we can have sausages with it as well. And yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much Sunday night's meal uh, for the kiddies. Whoever doesn't like mash can get, if anybody doesn't like the meal that we cook, then they can have something out of the freezer. But there's only two people, it's only Agnes. Agnes doesn't like it, she, she likes she likes the chicken nuggets and things like that. But um, we've tried it with mash, oh no, we've tried it with um, mash with the old milk free stuff, but um, didn't like it very much, but everybody else likes mash. It's a bit more butter. I like a battery mash. <laughs> oh, Florence! All right, I'm coming, darling. I'm coming. Florence wants her next bit. Next bit of her meal.
<laughs> there you go guys that's meal two done and dusted so that's meal two out of the big bag of potatoes so on to the next one right so this is meal three of our big bag of potatoes see we're halfway through so i don't actually think we'll get that many more meals out right so today i'm making um potato leek and bacon soup so i've got potatoes leeks uh cream to thicken at the end um onions I always use frozen onions because um, I just find it easier because then I've always got some in the freezer and I find that if I buy onions, I'll use a couple and then the rest will go in the vegetable rack and I'll forget about them. But if I've got them in a bag, then I've always got them in the freezer and they're already chopped, so it's far easier. Bacon and butter. I haven't actually got any butter, so I'm just using flour spread. So... Um, oh, and stock cubes, vegetable stock. Um, I think it needs like three litres because I'm doubling up the recipe that I found. But everybody knows that I don't like sticking to recipes much anyway. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of guesswork along the way. I've probably got more leeks than I need because I've got two bags. Um, and I've probably got more bacon than I need. But everybody likes bacon, so that's fine. So, yes. I'm not using as many stock cubes. I should go with that amount of water because there's too many. So it's, although it's going to feed a lot more people, obviously, but I'm going to use um, three stock cubes. So I'm going to get on and just see how it turns out. Okay, so soup is boiling. So I kind of had to double the recipe, but not double everything because if I doubled the amount of stock water, it would have been way too much. So, and plus I didn't really measure much. Um, so I added about 10 smallish potatoes um because it was supposed to be like six medium potatoes or something so i added 10 small ones um it was supposed to be six rashes of bacon so i added about 10 um or 12 because they like bacon uh i think it was supposed to be about 800 grams of leeks i added about eight seven or eight leeks um onions butter pepper to season and what else have i put in I think that's it so just chopped it all up and put it in with the stock so i'm going to leave it to boil for about 20 minutes and then i'm going to take it off and i'm going to blend it and then i'm going to add the cream and then i've got bacon to crisp up to put on top so hopefully it'll turn out all right but we shall soon see Okay, so I've blended it down and I've added some single cream and that's what we're left with. It tastes really nice. Okay, so that is leek, potato and bacon soup. Um, so when I serve it, 
I'm just going to serve it with some bits of bacon on top as well. Um, I mean, there's loads of it. So, so that will probably do everybody, to be honest. Um, and be enough for us later as well. And it does taste really, really nice. So that's day three of what we're doing with a big bag of potatoes. Um, okay, yeah. yeah. So meal three. Meal four is going to be another kind of test meal but what i will do because we've kind of time lapsed this one um partly because obviously we're putting all of this into one video and partly because i've never made this one before but now i know it works um i'll do a full vlog on how to make this soup because it's really really nice don't expect any kind of proper measurements or anything out of me because you'll just get you know what you get but i will properly vlog this one um because it's really yummy it's really good it's really nice it's really nice so um yeah on to recipe four, on to meal four. Okay, so we are now on meal four of the potatoes this week. So yesterday was Wednesday and I was actually, I had to take the girls out to dancing like from tea time onwards. So I didn't do anything last night. So tonight, I'm making it this afternoon because again, I'm out this evening, but then we can eat it later and anybody who wants to eat it at tea time can eat it. So today I'm gonna do, um, I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong, but it's patatas bravas, which is a tapas dish. Um, so it looks really easy to make and it looks really yummy. I've never made it before, um, but we've been looking at potato dishes and ones that we think that most people will like. So this is the one that we've gone with. So, um it's basically like roast potatoes with like a spicy tomato sauce kind of thing um so quite easy to make just obviously you've got the roast potato roast the potatoes so it takes a bit longer um but i'm going to do that now and get all the sauce and everything prepared whilst the potatoes are roasting and then i can leave it for ben to do with i mean because it's a tapas it's obviously you know it's a it's kind of a it's not a snack as you say would it it's kind of a dish that you would put alongside other dishes and stuff but obviously we're not going to eat it like that so we're going to put it with whatever really probably something out of the freezer to be fair we're going to have it later when i get back in with some of the older ones who are out and are dancing and stuff we're going to have it with some spicy chicken um strips later but anybody who wants to eat it earlier will probably end up having it with some chicken item from the freezer um, but I guess you, you could eat it on its own. You could eat it with anything really that would kind of go with potatoes. So chicken breast or, you know, if you wanted to make it into a meal instead of just having it as a um, as a dish or you could put it alongside other kind of tapas dishes and have like a whole proper thing. Anyway, I'll get the potatoes. So I have got a recipe, but you know me, I don't go by recipes. So I think it was about, I don't know, I'm doubling up the recipe anyway, so it was probably about um, 10 odd, 15 potatoes or something chopped up. Well, I've, I've done that many. I've peeled them already because, you know, that bit gets boring. Um, so I'm going to chop them into cubes, small cubes. Um, and the sauce is chopped tomatoes. So I'm going to use two tins for like a normal amount. It would be one tin probably some onions. So it's probably the equivalent of about two onions and about four garlic cloves. But obviously it depends on your taste. Now I've got frozen garlic because I think that's garlic. Yes, I've got frozen garlic because um, I always manage to just leave my garlic and it goes weird. So I've got frozen garlic and oh some fruit stuff from frozen as well some frozen onions because it's already done for me makes it much easier paprika chili powder and tomato puree that's for the sauce and then uh parsley fresh parsley to um to dress afterwards if you want to so obviously where things like paprika chili powder um or you need a little bit of sugar as well uh onion and garlic are concerned um it's kind of to taste as well so if you you know if you don't like it that much then don't add as much so i'm going to start off 
by chopping the potatoes and putting them in to roast. But I'll time lapse that bit because, you know, we'll be here all day. Um, I forgot to say as well, just a little bit of olive oil in the roasting tin and um, just pat the potatoes dry a little bit as well so they're not um, got too much water or anything on because these have been soaking. So I'll pat them dry as I'm cutting them on the kitchen foil. Kitchen foil, kitchen roll. Um, just a little bit of olive oil just to roast, like you would normal roast potatoes. So now I'm going to chop them up. Right, because I've got quite a lot of potatoes, um, I've actually put spread it over two pans because I was finding if you put too much in one pan, they don't cook properly. So I've got two pans, chop up potatoes that sort of size just, and then pat them dry of the water as much as you can because when they're too wet, they just don't, they just don't roast very well. Right, and then I'm literally just gonna, my olive oil bottle's bent, it's been too near the heat. Add a little bit of olive oil. I think I need some more olive oil. That's empty then. And just mix it all about a bit. Done. Right, so they are now ready to go in the oven. Okay, so they've gone in the oven probably for about 40 or 50 minutes. Um, I'll keep taking them out and checking them like with, with normal roasties, mixing them up, etc. etc. So in this pan all the way up in the sky. Um, I'm going to add the remainder of the olive oil because I obviously need to buy some more. Um, so a little bit of olive oil. I haven't got any more. Um, and the onions and garlic. So like I said, it's probably about the equivalent of two onions. Um, and a little bit of garlic. I'm not going to add all of this garlic because, oh hang on, that's not garlic, that's onions. Yeah, I'm going to go and find the garlic. Okay, so I don't have any garlic. Um, what I thought was garlic was onion. So what I will do instead is use some garlic granules because I do have them. So I really need a better cupboard. I'll add garlic granules instead because it probably tastes better with fresh. But so I'm just gonna fry off these onions for a minute or two and then I'm gonna add chopped tomatoes um probably a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree, um, a bit of garlic, as much, ch well, chilli powder kind of uh, as you would want it for taste. So it depends how hot you want it. I mean, it doesn't really tell you how strong it is. So it depends how much you like chilli powder. I mean, I've been known to put quite a lot of chilli in. Um, probably a couple of teaspoons of paprika. Um, it's kind of taste really, so whatever you think um, is kind of the heat. If you want it really spicy or, you know, if you don't want it so spicy and a bit sweeter, then add a bit more paprika. Right, so. Just going to leave them for a minute and I'll be back. 
Okay, so these onions are softened. So to the onions, I'm going to add garlic. Now I'm going to add about that much. So like I said, it should have been about four cloves of garlic probably. Um, and the garlic granules are quite strong. I'll just add a bit more for that because that's what I do. Right, paprika. I like quite a lot of paprika. Oops, maybe not that much. So, okay, paprika. So, I would say um, two teaspoons. Obviously, I'm doubling it, so that would be four teaspoons. And then chilli powder. We quite like things to be quite hot in this house. So, I'm going to add a little bit of chilli powder. Obviously, I can add more should I need to. I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. I have no fingernails, so really bad habit of biting my fingernails. Right, I'm add these. Obviously, if you were just making, um, not doubling up, it would just be one, one tin. But I'm making a lot, so I'm doing two. Two tablespoons of um, tomato puree. Which is about that. Oh, just splash it all over myself. Um, a little bit of sugar. Again, it's just a, it's just a little bit of sugar and a bit of pinch of salt as well. Um, I've actually got sea salt. It'll be alright. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that to the boil. Um, and then leave it to simmer for, I don't know, about 10 minutes, probably five minutes, 10 minutes. I'll check. Okay. So it's been simmering for about 10 minutes and that's what you should, like a chunky kind of pulpy kind of sauce. It smells lush. So it tastes, it's quite spicy, my one, because I did add quite a bit of um, chilli powder but obviously if you didn't want it as spicy just don't add as much but um, my potatoes are going to take a lot a little while longer I think once this is cooled you can keep it in the fridge for like 24 hours should you not use it all um, and then I'm guessing we heat it and use it the next day because there's only tomatoes and other bits and bobs and it should be fine um, so I'm going to leave it on the hob until my potatoes are done and then I will, I'm debating whether to do it all up and then reheat it because obviously we'll have to eat it later or to leave it separate. Not sure yet. I'll decide. But for now, I'm just going to leave potatoes to cook. I'll turn that off. So I'm just going to leave it on hob and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Right. So that is the finished product. We've done it with chicken strips, spicy chicken chicken strips. So roasties sauce, it's really, really tasty. The girls have, have got it as well, but I'll just show you ours. So yeah, it's really yummy. So that is meal number four. Okay. 
this is the last of the potatoes so there's not really that many left um there's not really enough to do mash or anything like that so i'm just gonna do some homemade chips they're having chicken burgers for tea so i'm gonna do some homemade chips with them um isabel's gonna peel them for me and then i'm gonna chop them up and put them in the oven because who doesn't like homemade chips right the bag is empty so that's done six is it six meals is this meal number six i can't remember i've lost count um so all i've done is peel the potatoes chop them up season them with a little bit of olive oil and salt and i'm going to put them in the oven I just realized there's two pans there i'm going to put them in the oven and um homemade chips take quite a while don't they take about 40 or 50 minutes um just keep turning them over and they'll be done so yeah that's it that's the whole bag so um we'll see what they turn out like They look really good, girls. They look like good homemade chips, them. Zoe done them. Zoe made them. Did Mummy make them, did she? Yeah, all credits. All credits to Zoe. They look good. Okay, so I've just come upstairs because they're all munching down there and it's noisy in the kitchen. So that's it. That is the potato challenge week done so we managed to get six meals out of that bag granted it's you know it wasn't for everybody every single night um i can't actually even remember obviously the soup pretty much nearly everybody at um the chips most of them had this evening mash most of them had um the tater tots most of them had or at least tried so you know it's it's, they've gone quite far um, and we used them all and they're only three pounds so you know there you go what more can you ask for um so yeah it's done no waste which is great which is what we like um i think they might want a week of potatoes now though i like potatoes i don't have any problem with them at all i can eat them all the time um anyway i hope you've enjoyed that video um it was a bit of a, a over the long a week long we filmed that one so i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to um drop us a like a subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i think that's all i've got to say because i can't remember anyway we'll see you in the next video bye